Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Well, the news is all over the place. Remarkable has released a press announcement. Remarkable communicates, my God. And that is pretty much the biggest piece of news. No, not really. There's, there's a bigger piece of news here. Basically, they're changing their strategy because their little experiment into the shameless money grab that the initial release of their Connect subscription has obviously backfired badly. So they are now backtracking and doing some damage control and offering something that we should have seen exactly a year ago and then it would have made sense. Instead, we had this whole year of uh, pretty, pretty bad experimentation going obviously badly for them. Otherwise, they wouldn't backtrack on something that brings them a lot of profit. Before we dig into the article and all of the stuff, what the new changes are, this video is sponsored by you and your support of my deep guide. So if you like the channel, then subscribe and ding the notification bell to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. And also check out the mydeepguide.com slash shop for the newly released My Daily Organizer 2023 that can, you know, fulfill most of your organizing needs on eNote devices. All right, and now on to checking out the announcement from the Remarkable. All right, so the um, originally what they actually released was a press release, which I find really strange that the press release is far more convoluted and not really as clear or as detailed as their blog article on the same topic. At first, when I was going through the press release, it was uh, it left me with a lot of questions. So that notion of, oh, they're communicating again. No, they're not communicating again. October is coming now, which is quarter four. And in Q4, companies sell more than in other three portals combined. So therefore, they're going to bring out a press release and, you know, share it with all of the press channels that they can so that they can get some exposure before their competitors also, you know, kind of trump them with some other products. So this is simply a marketing strategy, nothing unusual, bad or good about it. It's, it's just a press release. But here's one thing. How come they managed to do a full on press release campaign for this change, yet the original connect and subscription when it was done, it was done under the rug, no press release, no outreaching to the media or anything like that. Uh, maybe, maybe people should think about that a little bit and maybe people should pay attention to these discrepancies and differences. Anyway, back to this. So I'm not going to go through the press release. I'm going to go through the actual blog uh, article, which is very good and it has a lot of content and it basically answered all of my questions that I've had about this. And it, I think it lays out everything pretty clearly. What are the biggest changes? Well, the biggest change that we have is that Remarkable is backtracking on artificially uh, paywalling the previously free features. So of course they're selling it now as like, all of the Connect features are now free. Well, they were free to begin with. So let's not pretend this is just like marketing blah, blah. So stuff that was free and it was artificially uh, paywalled for a year, pretty much exactly a year, almost a year, is now free again. That's something that the bare minimum that they would have to do. So check, that's good. Now, where they go the extra mile, which turns it into uh, a good announcement. In short, if you don't subscribe to Connect, you now have access to every feature on the paper tablet. If you do subscribe, we'll talk about that one as well. However, there's another part here that's a little bit more important. And it's this one here where they say our new approach is simple. So that indicates that it's going to be the new approach going forward. Everything that happens on the paper tablet comes with the paper tablet. That's how it should have stayed. You, you, you really should not have tried to do this shameless money grab for a year. So, okay, obviously it didn't work. So now they're going back to something good. What I do like about it is that there's indication in this article that these, this kind of philosophy doesn't really reflect only the current features and that there's going to be tiers of new features and features that are uh, basically for paper tablet functionality, they will remain free. They will not be added to the Connect uh, subscription plan or a paywall or anything like that. And that's how things should be. 
So finally, we are seeing some common sense in what is being offered in this subscription plan. Now, the second part is that the subscription plan, the Connect plan, there's no more Connect Lite. Connect Lite is being absolved and all of the Connect Lite users are automatically upgraded to newer, cheaper Connect subscription because now it costs $2.99 US dollars per month. So from $7.99 down to $2.99 and that actually makes sense. However, users should be aware of one thing. The Connect is changing completely completely basically their their entire uh philosophy around the connect subscription is changing quite a bit what connect gives you now from october 1 what it gives you is unlimited cloud storage so that limitation of 50 days that uh, if you don't access a file and you don't synchronize a file um, for more than 50 days on a free plan that limitation is still on so be aware of that one with the connect subscription you get the unlimited cloud storage i still don't understand how can you say unlimited cloud storage i guess it sounds too bad if you word it correctly because when you say unlimited cloud storage it's normal that people will associate it with the amount of space and the data that you have available to you and this is not it this is by no means is this it this is only referring to we won't delete your data um, yeah if you don't access it after 50 uh, more than 50 days which is true of a free account so if you have a free account um, and you don't access a file for over 50 days it will be deleted from your uh, cloud account it will stay on your paper tablet but you won't be able to synchronize it again. It's really weird. That's number one that you get with the Connect subscription, unlimited cloud storage. Uh, then you have Remarkable 2 protection plan, which is a good thing. And that's something that's okay. It could be a little bit better. Uh, the wording I've read through it and it, it, you leave a lot to their discretion to decide what's going to be covered and what's not going to be covered. But for the most part, it sounds like they have been quite fair about being lenient to what this going what is going to be covered on this plan or not so i think that remarkable to protection plan in the connect subscription makes sense exclusive offers and discounts so this is where they describe this uh perk. Uh, with Connect, <clears throat> you will also get exclusive offers in our web shop that other customers miss out on, including discounts on selected products and accessories from Remarkable.com. So, okay, you get a little bit of a discount. I'm not too happy about that because you're, they're not going to sell it. They've already shown us that they're not going to sell, for example, Marker Plus at a discount. They are going to price hike up the regular prices. So that's, uh, well, that's their business. They're just all into artificially inflating the, uh, yeah, the, 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 the perception of value. So that's their business model. And that sucks. That's the part I don't like because we've seen that before. Marker Plus used to cost 99 US dollars for a longest period of time. And then suddenly when they launched uh, Connect, they hiked it up to 129 us dollars while well, for the connect users they would they would be able to get it for the regular price right and the final part is the mobile and desktop note taking coming soon so you gotta keep in mind that this is not gonna happen now so uh people who are upgraded to connect subscription from october 1st um basically you're paying 2.99 for these three things right and the promise of stuff in the future and that's pretty much it that's that's the difference and as far as i'm concerned 2.99 uh per month just for the remarkable to protection plan and that unlimited cloud storage that works and that makes sense i don't fully agree with the unlimited cloud storage but i totally understand it because they have to deal with the server clouds and space and maintaining all of these things so yeah that that thing kind of makes sense what i disagree with is that they should have introduced when they were releasing this they should have introduced a way to back up your notebooks in their native format locally so the proper way that this should have been done this announcement this change the fair way would have been that there was also a, a new desktop and new mobile app version being released that offers you the ability to locally save and back up your 
content from your current account so that if you're on a free account that you can have a local backup of this and that you have another option other than their cloud storage if you don't want to use their cloud storage that you can have a local backup and you can import export backup manage your backups things like that we still don't have an option of backing up your native data the only way to back up your notebooks is to export it as a pdf but that's not the same thing your layers are gone you can't edit all of these things it's just it's not the same thing so we still don't see that and that's uh that's a problem because this is an incomplete architecture and an incomplete infrastructure for the platform because if you're going to cut off people at some point and delete their files from the server, which I get, I get it, you're going to do that because you can't support it for free. Fine. Zero problems with that. But you absolutely have to offer an alternative for those users to back up their data in their native form so that they can have access to their data beyond 50 days. So that we don't have and that's a problem that's something that i've talked about a year ago uh, two years ago but when this launched i was talking about this exact the same thing and it's not happening so still remarkable has quite a bit to actually learn about how to release these things how to uh, streamline their infrastructure and how to put the customer experience beyond their profit that's something that they are having a lot of difficulty still of actually thinking about these things. However, backup and infrastructure issues aside, overall, I believe that this is uh, generally a really good piece of news because now it's focused, especially with the promise that uh, their new kind of focus is gonna be everything that happens on a paper tablet is included with the free subscription and that's how it must have stayed from the get-go, this whole, one year episode should never have happened so uh, it's a definitely a shameful kind of chapter in the uh, remarkable's history but hopefully they will have learned a valuable lesson from this and i hope that they will refrain from such greed driven uh practices and attempts because it's just it was far too much that was just not acceptable in any way that being said what they are offering now and this new direction that they are promising sounds promising but after all of this i'm careful with whether or not should i trust them uh, as far as the new features that they're promising and uh, announcing, some of them are exciting. The first one is like vertical scrolling. That's going to be good for some users, but it's really not a big deal. They're just using a lot of, uh, uh, you know, marketing mumbo jumbo, but you already have that on several other platforms. So it's really nothing new. It's new for Remarkable. It's a useful thing. They don't really clarify if it's going to be only on notebooks or if you're going to have scrolled or basically pageless scrolling on documents as well. I personally prefer pages, uh, some other people prefer this. It's nice to have that option. The one thing that I'm really happy to hear about is that they are announcing improved handwriting conversion functionalities. And that one will have two things that I was mentioning exactly a year ago, what should have been included. And they could have included this with the Connect subscription, but they're not, which is actually a nice thing to see. But the thing that they're planning on releasing in the future is save converted text to a page of a notebook. So now it's localized and it's basically contained with the notebook itself. It's no longer just when you wanna email something and keep editing the text while you're on your Remarkable. So this is a really, really welcome thing to see after five years, <laughs> but all right, they, they do, they move slowly like a glacier or some other analogy. They're also uh, announcing that we're going to have a new type of a document and this document is going to be combining handwritten and typed text. For example, you can create a document on the desktop app and then move to your Remarkable and add hand-drawn uh, elements such as highlights and comments. And all of these three on this roadmap, and this is, this is a properly new thing, this is the first time Remarkable is issuing a roadmap of features. Now that to me is one of the 
important changes in mentality. If they start to actually follow the footsteps of the super note, then that's a good thing. So nice thing to see finally a roadmap. So all these three features are going to be uh, available for free for people when they are released. The one that is going to be Connect exclusive is note taking and editing uh, of typed text on desktop and mobile devices for Connect subscribers. I don't fully get what's the difference between these two, because here they say note taking and editing of typed document on desktop and mobile devices for Connect subscribers. Capture ideas and thoughts no matter where you are. So for example, you can start your writing experience on the paper tablet, review your notes on the smartphone and refine them on the desktop app. We're planning to launch desktop editing uh, this fall and mobile editing in early 2023. The only difference that I see here is in the wording, at least, is that in the free version, you can create a document in the desktop app and type stuff and then send it to the Remarkable and add hand-drawn stuff. But it sounds like at least that you can't do the back trip now, that you can't continue editing that document in the desktop app because that's what the Connect subscription exclusive thing will allow you. So that's the only unclear element that I see here. So it would be good to actually see the clarification of these things and to kind of see how that functions. They have a little video here that just kind of talks about that. This is the Connect version of how it should work. As far as I understand it, I might be mistaken, but you start writing on the desktop um, or the mobile app, then you move it onto your uh, Remarkable, you add your hand-drawn data or whatever input, and then you go back to whatever else you want, so such as desktop or your uh, mobile app, and then you continue typing there. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So that's actually okay. Basically, it's just a way of creating a, a, a editable PDF that you can continue working in the desktop environment. That's pretty much what all it is. But that's a good thing. Just because it's simple doesn't mean it's bad. It's actually a good thing to have something productive like this. So overall, that's the news that we are getting from the Remarkable. They are basically flipping the page on the shameful chapter of their last year history and the first greedy attempt of their Connect subscription. I called them out on that uh, pretty vocally, even to the discontent of the most loyal of the Remarkable users. But I think it's worth it that uh, we hold these companies responsible for their behavior, especially if it's greedy and greed-driven shameful behavior, because it is more than obvious now that uh, with $2.99, they can recuperate their uh, cloud maintenance costs and have profit. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done this. So that $7.99 and paywalling existing features, that was just pure greed and artificial inflation of the value. Because I absolutely guarantee you that Come October, we're going to be inundated with remarkable ads that are going to have a slogan of some type and now all for free, right? So that's going to be the thing. So you artificially inflate this balloon with nothing and then you pop it and you make a big bang out of it, which is this release. So that's the popping the balloon, artificially inflated balloon it goes bang. And you say like, what was that? Oh, now it's all free. What? All the air that was inside and that was free from before? Okay, well, that's that. So I really do hope that they mean what they say here, that this is going to be their new direction of the company and that their motto that everything that happens on a paper tablet should stay uh, uh, and be available on the tablet so that all the functionalities that the paper tablet has are there and they're not artificially locked because uh, that was the, the this attempt that they had was anything but distraction free. It was actually a ginormous distraction. So, all right, fine, made a mistake, moving on forward. Let's see how, how it actually goes. Overall, what's my take on the new direction that they're he they, uh, heading? Stuff that was free a year ago is now free again, and that is a good thing to see, even though it should never have happened in the first place. The pricing is now reasonable for what it offers. And now this subscription makes perfect sense. And I think it's actually a good value as what it offers now. And finally, we have the announcement of 
features to come and people haven't really talked about this but that's actually remarkable announcing a roadmap to me that's a pretty big deal and what you actually see on the roadmap is quite promising and quite interesting so overall i think this is really good news to see all around all of this i hope that they stay on this track and i hope that the implementation of the promised features is good or better than the level of implementation that we have seen so far. Uh, things that I also hope to see are immediate uh, kind of addressing of things that are still an active issue on the platform. And there's, I think, four of them. Let's see if I've counted them correctly in my head. Number one, an option to back up your data primarily your notebooks in a native format so that you can back them up in a desktop or mobile app and load those backups also via the desktop app onto your tablet and bypass that cloud for the users who don't want to use connect subscription they don't want to lose their data they haven't accessed in over 50 days on a storage of some sort so um, if remarkable had 32 gigs of storage, then it would be better, but it doesn't. It has effectively just six and a half gigs of storage. And that's a terrible limitation and a huge distraction still on what is supposed to be a distraction-free platform. Second thing, the ability to add and insert uh, hand handwriting pages into a document is a fantastic addition, but we still are missing the ability to add templates to those pages. So I hope that we get that feature fixed soon. While we're on templates, we still lack the option of adding our custom templates, and that can be easily handled via the desktop app. And if it is a Connect exclusive uh, 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 feature, that would make sense, especially at this price range, that would be fine. So hopefully we'll get to see that soon as well. And there was a fourth one, but it now escapes my memory. Of course, there's more of them as well, but these are, as far as I'm concerned, at least the most pressing ones that should be addressed sooner rather than later. So short summary, this new announcement and new direction is very promising and what is already being done and introduced is really, really good, especially for the customers who entered the remarkable um, infrastructure and ecosystem after the introduction of the first shameless iteration of their money grab connect subscription now they are going to get actual value for their $2.99 a month. So all around, I think that this is a really good thing to see. I hope that they stay on this track. I hope that they continue doing these things and reaching out to people and communicating with the audience other than when the sales quarter comes, right? So it would be nice to get these on a periodical basis to actually just you know, let people know, hey, this is what we're doing, this is what we're planning. There's nothing bad in getting your audience to be excited about the upcoming things. And uh, yeah, at least that's my view. I think this excites me. When I see a roadmap on a super note, it excites me. This, I'm also excited about this. Yes, it's gonna come later. It's not gonna all come now. That's fine, but at least I know that what to look forward to. On this platform and this i think is a really important consideration that they were missing out like terribly missing out because a potential buyer will need to take that roadmap into account as well and it will actually affect the purchasing decision as well so it really didn't make sense that whole closed off approach uh i, I don't think that was a, a wise thing to do and obviously what they tried for the last year backfired terribly so now they're correcting the course and I hope that they stay on that course because it seems promising. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and also consider subscribing and things like that. And do let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are about this change, what you like, what you dislike and things of that nature. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.